Howdy folks, this is a fucker wolf TA 183 148 scale by Academy. There's the six variants you can have five German, one Russian. The Russian one was built by the Russians and tested. Um, there's this side of the box, a few languages about the kit, color call outs. Umbral, Ravel, Vallejo, Mr. Colour. This side of the box has got kit size 189, sorry, 198mm by 88mm tall. Cartographer decals in the kit, some photo etch and canopy masks. On instructions, piece of glass, one bag of screws, part of decals, information on some tools, warning leaflet, don't need none of that, another bag of screws, I have taken a look at this kit, that's why it's open, decals, Printed by a cartographer, nicely in register. Should go down with my sewing set pretty well, though I've never had no issues with cartographer decals. Um, I believe they're the best in the world. Oh, I'm sorry. And there's your photo etch, seat belts, and laser printed masks for the canopy. Some people like them, some people don't. I think they're okay. Printed masks. There's a clear cockpit. I don't want to take out the bag because I don't want to scratch it up because I haven't built this kit yet. I'm in the process of doing Spitfire and B17. Once I've got them out of the way, I'll probably start this kit. There's one sprue. Nose cone, looks like engines, part of the engine. Um, there's the tail wing, some more interior parts, I'm not sure what they'll be. There's the, if the, um, the bulkhead, um, not bulkhead, sorry, uh, instrument panel and the seat. Get what? <clears throat> Fuselage, nice recessed panel lines, no rivets though, which is a bit of a shame. Um, there's one engine, it's got this weird thing sticking out of it, I'm not sure what that is. One piece wheels, there's a nice bit of tread on there. Um, and there's the other engine. Um, and I believe that's more engine parts. We have quite large wings on this plane. I think the wings is nearly as big as the actual fuselage body. Um, both are down the call left and the right, obviously. On the underside, injection pin marks, you won't see them. Because you'd be putting the two halves together. So, no issues there. Interior cockpit detail, not much there to say. Because it's a jet. Jets don't have much. As... Yep. The undercarriage, that looks pretty good. Some guns, possibly. Um, drop tank. Two halves. And these weird looking rocket things. Yeah. Decal sheet is a pull out page. Don't like those. Step one on the front cover about the kit. Things to wash out for. Cut, fill, times two. Hold, 
volume, full, whatever. More colour call outs. <clears throat> but, cockpit detail, putting the seat in, instrument panel, feather edge seats. Um, where, it's, where it says the seat, which is number six, I believe is. Uh, that, yeah, so the, the triangles with the numbers in them, the black triangles with the numbers in them, sorry, are the colour. So number six, uh, seat, the according to this is a reddy brown, so it's like mimicking leather I suppose. What colour is the interior? Number 12, probably a grey. Oh yeah, a black grey, blacky grey. Um, putting the fuselage together and the engine. Step three. Oh, that's weird. Then drop in the cockpit in from the inside. And then the nose cone. Not sure if you require any weight though. It doesn't say anything about weight, so I don't know if it'd be tail heavy or not. Um, drop tanks. The next step is the undercarriage, wheels, more drop tanks. Oh, well that's sorry. This section is if you've got it closed up, <coughs> so it's in flight mode. This is when it's on the ground. Um, put the wings on using the mask for the wheels. It's this. Step seven, putting the weird rockets on. Um, masking up the canopy. Step for painting, ready for painting. We have this option, 1946. So it must be a prototype because the wall was done by then, 1945. So. It's kind of been in production at all. It must be, uh, must be uh, fake. Right, and then the list. That's um, light grey with dark grey speckles with the black nose. That's the one from the box. Splinter camo. Typical German. Another German splinter camo. Uh, another splinter. No, sorry, this ain't Splinter, this is two halves, this is what, uh, number 17, number 17 is brown, and the other half is 18, which is light grey, so half it's brown, half it's grey, hmm, it's a bit of a weird, weird combination, the underside is 16, which is light blue, which is the typical German blue, uh, I don't like that one, it's boring, horrible. Splinter the camo again, um, and then there's the Russian one, which is number two is silver, so natural metal finish or whatever. And then there's the parts, and that's the kit, guys. You know a lot. We should go together fairly quickly. I never built an um, academy kit before. Um, comment down below if you've ever built one, Academy, if they go together pretty well, any issues. So that's the 148 scale by Academy, Wildfucker Wolf TA183. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.